The imminent construction of an entertainment district and new commercial developments were the expectations when Werner Park first opened. But even though the interest is there, the Shiwi Farm's lack of development is apparent. There hasn't been a project that's really met the vision of the, the entertainment district. The lack of development of an entertainment district is tied to the need of more residents living near the area, since the business community needs to make a living throughout the year. During the baseball season, there's a fair amount of traffic, and that runs from early April until probably Labor Day. So without the adjacent development, it would be awful tough for a business to survive on three or four months worth of business. According to Trenton Alvers, one important thing to notice is that Warner Park has activated residence development around the area. When Warner Park was built, the city of Papillion invested uh, two million into connecting water and sewer uh, out to, to the Warner Park area. Some of these developments include North Shore, Asbury Farm, Prairie Hills, and Granite Falls. By 2020, the city of Apillion expects 800 new houses to be built. And a lot of it has to do with that, that water and sewer connection. On top of having developing residential areas, the Prairie Queen Recreation Area and Werner Park, the Nebraska Multisport Complex is opening in the fall of 2018 creating more interest for commercial developments in the future. A million visitors at the sports complex, half a million at Werner Park, suddenly you've got a pretty good destination, which is going to attract the attention of the development community saying, hey, those visitors have needs. For the Omaha News, I'm Jose Rodriguez.